Welcome to Little Bighorn Treasure Hunting Sources 42 about a lucky 7th Cavalry soldier and the ghost dance shirts. Also the Togyu symbols for shield, take, and the word the, T-H-E. Note that Benj Benjamin Black Elk taught more than one symbol for the same word. Custer had left Fort Abraham Lincoln with his troops, his surgeons, 67 Eureka scouts, the pack train, and all their supplies. They were traveling west to rendezvous with General Terry and Gibbon's army at the Elk River, Yellowstone, and the Powder River. Along the way, he would leave a Eureka scout with two horses setting up a private Pony Express to Fort Abraham Lincoln. General Terry had set up a supply depot at the Powder River, supplied by a steamboat. When Custer and his men arrived, they left extra items, including their cavalry sabers, there because they made too much noise. He also left some soldiers there to be responsible for the items. Here is the history on a colt purchased from Scott Tarbell, who gave me a very fair price on the, on the Sioux Falls March 2024 gun show. Uh, his wife, Victoria, and Scott have new frontier gun shows. Check them out. Anyway, the history on this colt from the 7th Cavalry is in my examination of this 1873 colt single action 45 caliber upside down U.S. Mark revolver, serial number 6944. I discovered the name Take the Shield written in Togia on the right grip near the English letters CO. COC as shown on illustration one. I believe these English letters are the initials of Charles Orr, Company C, 7th Cavalry. I found the English letter CO also written on the left grip as shown in illustration two. Take the shield is also found on the trigger guard near the serial number as shown on illustration three. Private Charles Orr was born in Canada in 1847. He enlisted with the 7th Cavalry in 1875 and assigned to Company C and records show he had blue eyes, brown hair, and was five foot nine, three quarter inches tall. Private Orr went on the Sioux campaign in 1876, but did not make it to the Little Bighorn because he and other members of Company C were left at the Powder River Depot. The depot was located at the confluence of Powder River and Yellowstone River and established by General Alfred Terry, specifically for the Sioux campaign. Private Orr was at the Wounded Knee Massacre in 1890 and I believe he lost his Colt revolver to take the shield during that conflict. Because you see, it was the 7th Cavalry who was present at the Wounded Knee Massacre. Take the Shield was born in 1865 to Aglala parents, Black Wolf and Daylight. He participated in the Indian Wars and was a close friend of Nicholas Black Elk. They were very close in age, it seems like, at that time. I learned about Take the Shield from my conversations with Benjamin Black Elk. Nicholas's son. Benjamin told me that Take the Shield and his father spent a lot of time together because they were both leaders of the ghost dance and were together at the Wounded Knee Massacre. Take the Shield wore a ghost dance shirt made for him by Nicholas and thought the shirt would make him invincible. So the conflict started. Take the Shield rode straight at a soldier, yelled at him to shoot. He thought his ghost shirt, I guess, was would protect him. Benjamin said the soldier seemed confused, so Take the Shield was able to reach out and take the soldier's revolver away. He threatened to shoot the soldier, but quickly turned and rode away with the revolver. Benjamin said that after the conflict ended, the survivors went to the stronghold. But when news came that, that the soldiers were going to arrest all the ghost dance leaders, the leaders gave all their weapons to Nicholas Black Elk for safekeeping. Take the Shield gave this revolver to Nicholas and said, Maybe someday we can use it. According to the article in the January 28, 1891 edition of the Chicago Herald, Short Bull narrated, Lakota ghost dance leaders held at Fort Sheridan were 11 brule warriors. Short Bull, Scattered Oak Bear, Horn Eagle, Sorrel Horse, Standing Bear, One Bull, close, Kills Close to Home, Run Sideways, Good Eagle, High Eagle, Wounded with Many Arrows, and a Brule Woman, Crocane, Crane. Thirteen Oglala warriors, Kicking Bear, Coming Grunt, Breaks in Two, Revenge, His Horse Voice, Standing Bear, Brave, Take the Shield, Hard to Hit, One Star, 
brings a white horse, white beaver and biting bear and one Oglala woman medicine horse. Now the ghost dance shirts were supposed to protect the dance leaders from the white man's bullets and were painted with symbols from visions that they had had. They might include eagles and eagle feathers, rainbows, lightning, buffalo, and many other things. Nicholas Black Elk painted many of the ghost shirts for the others as well as for himself. Next, we will do some more on the Wounded Knee Massacre. Thank you for watching. God bless.